So the last piece I want to share is the Pareto's Law. It's, it's uh, called the 80-20 principle. Different people have called it different things. Uh, Joseph Duran was a quality control expert. He called this the principle of the vital few versus the trivial many. Okay? It is absolutely a core principle in the universe. Okay? So it doesn't necessarily mean that everything is exactly 80-20, but it could be 75-25, it could be 90-10, it could be 70-30. Do you get the drift of this? That there's a, there's a trivial many and there's a vital few. Okay? And this is in all the universe. And by the way, those of you that know about this, it's called the bell curve. Okay? You know, it's the bell curve. Okay? And it's, again, a life-changing principle that we apply to everything that we do in our life and in our practice. 80-20 with procedures, 80-20 with patients, 80-20 with referral doctors, 80-20 with time, 80-20 with staff, 80-20. And when you begin to realize the importance of it, okay, so when you're in a certain type of practice, more is better. In another type of practice, more is worse. Okay? And we'll look at that together. So the principle is not only linked to profits and production, but it's also linked to getting more out of life. There's a guy that I studied with <clears throat> named Rockshotten. He started the Omega School in New York. He's a physician, an MD. He wrote a book called Time Shifting. And, and he really talked about the 80-20, and he talked about it this way. He's, he's, he talked about islands of happiness. So you take that, so to speak, island of happiness, whatever that is, whatever really, really uh, turns your crank, you know, gets you excited, gets you motivated, makes you feel great, and you just keep expanding it. What if, what is a life like when you 80-20 in reverse? You're too busy, you're too frazzled, you're production-centered, you're not profit-centered, your life's a mess, you never have enough time for anybody, don't have time for your kids, you don't have time to do anything. That's what it's like when you 80-20 in reverse because you haven't established what your priorities are. You, you haven't said what matters most. Remember that couplet, ghost couplet, that which matters most should not be at the expense of that which matters least. So that's another way you can look at the same thing. You can look at all this stuff is the stuff that matters least. Okay? And all this stuff, whatever it is, is the stuff that matters most. Do you get the picture here? Now, now if you're in survival, and if you're insecure, and you haven't, you know, you're going, oh, yeah, you know, oh, I have to do everything. Okay? It's never going to happen for you. The more things you try to do in your dental practice, the more you 80-20 in reverse. I don't care who you are or what you do. Every time you do something more, you have to let go of something. Huh? Every time you do more of something, you have to let go of something. Okay? Right? If you want to do more of something, you have to let go of something else. Doesn't that make sense? Okay? It's the same thing with the activities, with the time in our life, with everything we do. 80-20 is a cardinal principle. It provides your patients with more and more of what they really want, and you conserve energy, Resources, time, and space. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of Corbin's uh, dentists that he enrolled from Wisconsin, I'll just say Wisconsin, been all the way through the Pinky Institute, been all the way of all, all kinds of training. And he's sitting there, ready to merge with another practice because his practice is going in the wrong direction. Because he, he didn't understand any of these principles. In four months, he increased his personal production at the rate of 300,000 a year, four months. Because he had a lot of stuff on the shelf, you know, he didn't have to go back to school. He had a lot, but he didn't have the principles in place and he started to align the principles and everything began to change. And it changes really fast. Okay? Things change really fast if you understand the principles and you begin to apply them. So, a way to say this is 80% of your production comes from 20% of your patients. And you know what? I have endodontists as clients, have a lot of them, that tell me the same thing. You say, endo, are you kidding? No, no. It's all about one thing, focus. Okay. It's all about, if you think about what 80-20 is, it's laser focus. Okay. 
80 percent of your problems come from 20 percent of your patients and I'll bet you the specialists in this room will say 80 percent of their problems come from 20 percent of their referring doctors. Get rid of them. What are you working on? Those? What are you doing that for? I mean, why would you bring that aggravation into your life, right? Why, why would you do that? Unless you like to be aggravated. Okay? So 20 percent of your marketing efforts lead 80 percent of your results. The problem is most people don't know what 20 percent is working and what 80 percent isn't, okay? Because they're not tracking it, okay? So I mentioned this already, 80-20 in reverse, okay? You know you're reversing when you're stressed, you feel like you're working hard, you're pushing water upstream, okay? That's when you know it's true. So whatever you do, you, you, uh, if you try to do everything, the problem is you end up with nothing, okay? Uh, anybody familiar with Joseph Campbell? Ever heard the Joseph Campbell story? Okay, my students have heard it from me. Joseph Campbell was, uh, was a wonderful guy that dealt with mythology, and, and he talked about the hero's journey, see? So here's, here's, I want to tell you how this works, okay? Just, just, and I can only give you this sitting here after actually 40 years of working at the dentist if I go back to 1973 at the Pankey Institute, teaching there for 10 years. Uh, if you're not the hero of your life, if you don't choose to be, if I don't choose to be the dominant creator of my life, I become the victim to be saved. There's a lot of dentists that are victims because they haven't chose to be the dominant creators of their life. If you don't choose to be the hero of your life, in every sense of that word, right, you're going to end up being another victim to be saved. Okay? And that's why this, this, is, this principle, I think, the 80-20 is so important. Because you really have to think about 80-20-ing everything. And we're going to look at money. We're going to look at time. We're going to look at marketing. We're going to look at sales. We've got work to do. We're going to look at people. We've got a long way to go. And we're going to 80-20. We're going to take the creative process. We're going to take structural dynamics. We're going to take human motivation and Pareto's principle, and that's what we're going to apply to every one of these key strategies. And as you'll see that, you'll start to see the story unfold.